Yo, what's up guys? Kyle Hansen here at Wheel Fun Stuff, and I have the SureStar Pro right here in my GT. I've been riding it for a bit now, and it is a pretty sweet feature to add to your GT. You know, it helps a lot. So I'm gonna get into that. You know, I'm gonna test it out a bit. Got some drops around here. You know, we're gonna see what it can handle. You know, we're gonna put it to the test. What is a SureStart Pro, you ask? So a SureStart Pro is a little gadget that you can put into the controller of your GT. It does two things to your sensor. It can give you a one activation sensor, so it turns your two sensors into one, and then it also has a delayed cutoff, so it won't cut off immediately when you release your foot. You can have a delayed cutoff. So there's a way to program your SureStart Pro, and I'm gonna show you how to do that right here. So you want to start by pressing both thumbs on each sensor and then turning your board on. And you're going to get these yellow flashing indicator lights. So there are two settings that can be changed with this and the first one that we're going to change is the posi delay. So the way that we change that is by tapping the left sensor and each tap is going to increase the posi delay by half a second. So if I were to tap it twice, then it would delay the posi for one second. So what does that mean? That means right when you get onto your board, it's going to be a posi sensor. So only one sensor needs to be activated for it to engage and then after you know say one second it will turn back into two sensors so you can still lift your heel off and get off your board safely. So for me I want the posi to stay on the whole time so to do that it's going to be 16 uh, taps plus one more and it will stay activated the whole time so I'm going to get that going. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seventeen. That will give me a full posi the whole time. The next setting that we're going to change is the cut off delay and that is the right sensor on your GT. So just like the posi delay, it's gonna be a tap to increase the cutoff time. But for the cutoff, it's gonna be each tap is 0.1 second. So if I were to tap it for five times, that would be a half of a second cutoff. You know what I'm saying? Bill, 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 Okay, so if I were to tap this five times, that would be 0.5 seconds of a cutoff delay. So what is a cutoff delay? That means that when you totally jump off of your board, your sensor and your motor will stay activated for a certain amount of time and then it will cut off. So if I were to tap this five times, that would be half a second. And so it would stay on for half a second once I get off of it. So I've found that uh, about 0.7 seconds is pretty good. It's a good uh, little time to keep it on. So I'm gonna get at seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, sweet. And then to lock those settings in, all you're gonna do is hold down both of the pads for a bit, and then you're gonna turn off your one wheel, and then you're gonna turn it back on. And then you're gonna turn it back on. And then you're gonna turn it back on. <sighs> so now you can see when I hit either sensor, the whole blue light comes on like it's activated. And then you can see it has a delay for about 0.7 seconds. So why would you want one of these? Really tight to have this in your wheel, you know, you really can, you can trust your wheel, you can trust the sensor on your board. It's not gonna cut out on you randomly anytime, which you don't want that, it sucks. And so you can start, you know, ripping like you always were before. The settings are tight, right? Yeah, shout out to Jeff right here, link in the description to his video about him installing it. Follow the video to a T and get it in your board because you want it. <laughs> So we got some drops set up in the warehouse here. We have labeled them measurements. So we're gonna start off with the itty bitty drops and see how uh, the SureStart Pro handles them. Cause you know, we're not sure and we gotta test it out. Dang, so first off we got the one incher. Might be a little bit taller, but it's about one inch. Get it, that was, that was epic. So the next one, I got a little balance first. A little balance beam. This is three and a quarter inches. So you know, stepping up a notch. 
three quarter inch like a pro baby. That was easy. Four and a half inches right here. Stepping it up a little more, I see. A little dropping. Oh, we're stepping it up a notch, an inch and a half a notch to six inches off the ice box here. I think I might get a little tricky with this one, maybe. We'll see. Yup. Oh. Nice. Dang, so that's it. That was, we're, we're up two inches now to eight inches. That's like, that's an eight. Can you see the eight? This one's got a big nudge in the front though, so we'll see. We'll see if I can make it up that one. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Nice. Is the 11 inch drop. Is the sketchy 18 inch drop. Felt like butter. 14. Oh, dang. 14 inches, check. Yeah, we got the 17 inch little green balance boy here. 17 inches, will it make it? Oh, oh gosh. Whoop. Ooh, we got the big boy right here at two feet. Gotta walk up to it. I don't know, man, is it gonna do it? You sure bet it will. Solid. Woo! Woo! Man, this is 30 inches. It's like, it's taller than the other ones before this, so. I don't know, we're gonna see how it handles. Oh, it's straight on. Nah, no, I'm just kidding, I can't do that. 30 inches, let's get it. Man, my foot is leaving my foot pad, and it's still activating. Sick! Potty burial, drop. Ooh, that was a hard hit. All right, ready? Whoo, smacked. Ah! 37 inches, let's get it. Whoo! Oh yeah, that's a drop. Dang. 47 inches. We've ran out of things to drop off of. So we started to stack things on top of each other. I mean, I don't think I'm gonna hit my head. Accurate, safety first. We missed out on the little drops, but you know, 47 inches, you know? Plus I forgot how wobbly this quarter is right here. But you know, some, sometimes you just gotta send it. All right, 47 inches. Dropping. Butter, 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 butter. Oh yeah, there we go. Then inches. What? This is what? No. So this is pretty tall. And that's a pretty small runway, but you don't need, you just need a little bit of speed. Definitely more speed helps, but you know, this is a drop test. This isn't a speed test, so I'm just trying to drop. Hit the drop. Big drop. <laughs> what happened there? Lost a little bit of pressure, that's okay though. 57 inches, thanks guys for watching this video. Crazy drops. I don't think there's any more drops that we could do in here. Oh, that drop? Wow, I didn't, oh, what? Oh, we got six feet, 10 inches. But you know, we're gonna drop onto the big wedge here. Oh yeah, dropping. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> Round two. Oh, my tire has no air. 
stay tires. That's what's up. Whew, my adrenaline is pumping. Dan, that was sick. Thank you guys for following along with all those drops. You know, we got the small drops. We got the biggest drops. We tested out that SureStart Pro and the GT, and it is sick. So if you guys need one, hit up thefloatlife.com, get yourself a SureStart Pro, because it's pretty sweet for the GT and does wonders. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to our channel, because we're always putting out fun stuff. I hope you guys are having a fun day out there. Yay!